Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I taught Momo to give paw, and all it took was five days. So the first day I started off by simply taking his paw, shaking it and then giving him a treat. This taught him that he would be rewarded whenever I shook his paw. I did this twice with him on the first day, just once in the morning and once in the afternoon. And already by the second time round, he started to relate the paw with the treat, not quite putting it up yet, but he kind of realized that waving it around, he'd get a treat. The second day I started off exactly the same, took his paw, shook it, gave him a treat. And after a while I realized he'd sort of keep his paw in the air. I think he kind of started to make a connection that holding his paw up and getting a shake would relate to getting a treat. So I think this was already some pretty decent progress. Again, I did it once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Four. Four. Good boy. Day three, exactly the same thing. Took his paw, shook it, gave him a treat. But on day three, I already realized that just by tapping his paw, he'd lift it and put it in my hand. In this case, I also had to contend with all the other cats wanting treats, so I had to chuck them around and have them run after them while I trained with Momo. But I could realize that he sort of related having his paw touched with getting a treat. Unfortunately, he's also very distractible. He can't focus on one thing to save his life, unfortunately. But after a while we got there. And as you can see in this, whenever I touch his paw, he lifts it up. Now at the end, he actually even just holds it up all the time and doesn't really relate to giving paw. But I think that's because he gets distracted so easily. Now day four was quite exciting because it was as if someone had turned a switch and suddenly he knew how to do the trick. I simply say give paw and there he went, shook my hand and he'd learned the trick. Now here you can see again I've got the two girls to contend with. They want the treats just as much. But this isn't about them, this is about teaching Momo. So sometimes I see he still gets a bit distracted. There he shook with the left paw, still works. He kind of gets it. But as soon as I now say give paw, there you go. There comes the paw, shake, and he gets a treat. And it really, it was as if someone had flipped a switch. Just overnight, he'd suddenly learned. You can't see it in the video, but for me, one of the best bits is whenever he puts his paw in my hand, he claws at it a little bit, almost like he's holding tight. So it's almost like he's responding to being rewarded for what he's just done. Although he had learned the trick by day four, I still include day five as the training, because I think this was quite an important day for it to really ingrain in his memory. And now whenever I ask him to give paw, he gives paw, he gets a treat and he knows that it'll happen every time he gives paw. There you go. Quite simple, quite easy. I hope you try this with your own cat. I'm sure not only Siamese cats are smart enough to learn this. If you do try it on your own cat, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you if this has helped you teach your cat a little trick. Please also go find Momo on Instagram. It's at Mo the Siamese. We'd really appreciate you guys following us there as well. And if you did, please like the video. We'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, please also subscribe to the channel. Cheers. We'll see you in the next one.